Hello, welcome to our very first Felting Fridays. I'm Jamie from The General Bean, and our plan is to try and go live every Friday evening, either here on Instagram or on Facebook, and then we will upload the videos to our YouTube channel. So you can find the link for our YouTube in our profile. So it might be a good idea to go subscribe so you don't miss anything. So tonight I thought we would do a little tutorial on visible mending. We have a kit on our website called Wool Aid, and it comes with everything you need to visibly mend any holes in sweaters, blankets. You can even use it on things such as linen and cotton. So it can be quite versatile and you can have fun with it. So in your kit, you're gonna get um, eight different colors of wool. And the wool is Canadian wool, felts really nicely, and it's quite a bit of wool. This will last you quite a while. And then you're also gonna get a little uh, foam pad to work on, a couple needles, a little stencil, and the full instructions. And then you can also just have fun with it. You don't have to use the stencil, you can get creative as well. So let's start off. I've got a piece of knitting here that has a little hole. So I'm gonna show you how we can mend that with our kit. So we'll just switch our camera. Perfect. So. Whenever you're needle felting, you always wanna work on some sort of surface. If you don't, you could easily break your needle. Also, if you're doing something like a sleeve, you're gonna end up felting it together. So you definitely want something in between. So a little foam pad works well. I've also used a dryer ball in a pinch. So you, what you wanna do is slide the pad underneath the surface area that you're gonna work on. And then you're gonna choose some wool you could either go with something that matches so it's not very noticeable or you can have fun and choose something that's going to pop. So I would start with just a little bit and then add layers so you don't end up too thick. We're going to use our little stencil that's included in the kit today. But you can also use things like cookie cutters in all different sizes or you can freehand it. So lots of options. So for this, for the stencil, you can just put it over top and then grab a little bit of wool and put it on. Lost my needles. And then if you've never needle felted before, you do need to be careful. The needles are quite sharp and they have all these little barbs on them. So when you feel the needle this way, it's nice and smooth. But when you go back on it, it you'll feel the barbs. And those are what's gonna catch the fiber and mat it together. So you just wanna start poking at your wool and you wanna keep it in an up and down motion. You don't wanna flick your wool or change direction once you've started because then you can easily end up snapping your needle. If you're using a cookie cutter, you also need to be careful not to hit the edges because that'll snap it as well. So I've added a bit of a layer and then I'm just gonna grab a bit more and just keep adding till I filled up the whole area that I want. So you wanna do a little bit beyond your actual hole because you know as you wear your garment, it's gonna stretch a bit. And you can machine wash it. Uh, we'll, once it's already felted, it's not gonna change much. It may shrink up a little bit more but that's not a big deal. So if you're doing it on a garment that is machine washable, that's totally fine. So I'm just gonna keep adding until I get it all filled up. And just a little bit more. Once you've done the first area, 
You do want to do the back as well, just to make sure that it is nice and stable and felted. It is gonna stick to the foam pad. So just very gently lift it up and then pull the pad out and flip your work over and put the pad back in. And then you wanna make sure that you're adding the wool where the hole was. And then I would just fill in where you can see. And then you'll make sure to get everywhere. The kit does come with two needles, that way if you break one, you still have another. And then if you do need more, you can get more off the website. And the needles come in different sizes. So the size that we tend to use for this kind of work is our medium size needle. And we have lots of extra wool too, in case you go crazy and use up all your wool. There's the back side all done. And then you're gonna flip it over again. Gently pull it off that mat. And then I like to give it a once over because it did stick to the mat, so it is fluffy. And right now this one's a little misshapen. So I'm gonna fix up. If you come in at a nice angle, instead of going directly into the mat, it won't stick as much this time. And then because mine's lopsided, I'm gonna add a bit of extra wool just to make the heart a little prettier. But then that's all there is to it. Once it's felted and then as you use it and wash and wear, it's gonna felt a bit more too. And then if you wanted to get creative, you could always grab another color. You could add things like polka dots just roll a little ball and just lightly put it on. So you could do all kinds of fun stuff. We'll just do two polka dots today. And there you go. So we'll pull that out. And there you can see you have a nice patch. And it's lots of fun to do that with um, kids clothes and stuff. You can make them monster patches or toadstools, lots of fun things. And then if you don't wanna have something that's really showing, you can just do a simple patch over in the same color and it'll barely be noticeable. So thank you for joining us and I hope you can join us next week. Next week we will be on Facebook Live and then everything will be available on the YouTube. Thanks for joining us. Have a great evening.